Hello there. I'm sure you're not going to be surprised to hear me say that many areas across the UK have seen very little in the way of substantial rain since the end of May. Well, it looks as though we could see some subtle changes in our forecast for the next few days. A little bit cooler and fresher and some rain to come in the north. In fact, we already had some rain on Monday from this cold front that moved its way through the country, weakening off as it pushed its way south and east. But it did introduce fresher air from the Atlantic and you'll really notice the difference as we go through the day today. So a largely quiet day, a good deal of dry weather in the story, a scattering of showers across eastern Scotland and northeast England. But look at the field, 16 to 19 in the north, highest values of 25 in the southeast corner. But high pressure will build as we move out of Tuesday night into Wednesday, a quiet night and a quiet start to the middle of the week with a good deal of dry weather once again in the story and very, very light winds. So we will see some sunny spells coming through and temperatures, well, a little bit fresher still, but nevertheless, 18 to 21 degrees in the north of Scotland, but just starting to creep up a little down in the southeast with highs of 27. Now, as we move out of Wednesday into Thursday, those of you who are keen weather followers, this area of low pressure, well, at the weekend, we thought that that was going to sink its way south and bring more significant rain right across the country. Unfortunately, it was just teasing us, really. It's going to sit up into the far northwest and just bring some cloud and rain into the extreme northwest of Scotland. So only 15 degrees to the northwest of the Great Glen, but further south with a light southwesterly breeze, those temperatures climbing once again into the high 20s. So this weather front really just stagnates as it bumps into the high pressure. It's going to weaken off again considerably. So it will bring some showers, I suspect, on Friday across Scotland and maybe through the far northwest of England. But further south, dry, settled, sunny. And with a light southwesterly breeze, those temperatures again are going to continue to climb. So it's starting to get pretty warm, if not hot in central and southern areas with highs of 28 or 29 degrees. Heading for the beach at the weekend, I don't suspect you're going to be disappointed. And the reason for this change is originally, we thought that the jet stream was going to weaken off. So yesterday, it looked likely that we could see this undulation in the jet. And where we get this dip, this area of low pressure is set to build with high pressure drifting out to the west once again. But it does look as though the weather story has changed somewhat. The jet stream looks likely to stay pretty strong and less of an undulation. So as we go into the weekend, we're going to see the jet stream up into the far north of the country and just a little cut off low develops down into the southwest, which means that most of the shary unsettled weather looks likely to stay across the near continent in France and over to the Alps. And that's going to allow high pressure once again to build in from the southwest. So staying largely settled and sunny with just a few scattered showers up into the northwest. So if you've got outdoor plans for this weekend, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Mainly dry and largely warm. And looking further ahead still, it looks likely that we keep that dry theme. If we get any rain, it's just going to be in the far northwest. And if anything, it is going to turn increasingly warm, if not hot, into the middle to the next part of next week.